Canada has all the tools to potentially eradicate HIV AIDS, and yet infection rates aren't coming down. Up to 3,000 people in Canada are infected every year, year after year. That's about one new infection every three hours. So why does the number of people with HIV in Canada keep growing? For one, drug treatments mean people with HIV are living longer. Health Canada recently approved generic versions of a once-a-day pill that can be used to effectively treat HIV. These antiretrovirals are so effective, HIV-positive people are less likely to infect others. They can also be used to protect people who don't even have HIV if they take the medication preventatively. And while that's a breakthrough, it could also mean people aren't as afraid of getting HIV, and that could be affecting condom use. And public health officials acknowledge it's unrealistic for sexually active people to always use them. Then there's detection. At the end of 2014, an estimated 75,000 Canadians were living with HIV. But one in five doesn't even know they have it. And public health officials warn stigma is still deterring people from getting tested. The groups most at risk of contracting HIV are men who have sex with men, injection drug users, people coming from countries with high rates of infection, and indigenous communities. One region in Saskatchewan has the highest rate of HIV infection in the country triple the national average. Doctors there call it a public health emergency. So what can be done? Experts we spoke to say more education and harm reduction programs like supervised injection sites would help. Also, early testing and treatment with antiretrovirals. Activists and their allies in the medical community are pushing all provincial governments to make antiretrovirals available for free, for prevention. They argue it makes more sense to prevent someone from getting infected rather than waiting until they're sick. Want to learn more about HIV in Canada? Check out our sources in the description.